this wicked shrapnel and have a domination for you on Oasis. And recently I had some people in the comments say, Wicked shrapnel, why are you always using the MP7? That gun's so overpowered. Why don't you use a sniper rifle? Because uh, the good players, they use a sniper rifle because it takes skill. And so I broke out the sniper rifle and I'll talk a little bit about why I never use it and I don't know everyone has their own play style I am an objective player and if you are playing the objective you are going to run into a lot of close quarter situations and the sniper rifle is really geared towards someone I don't know like sitting back from the objective from afar picking people off maybe defending a flag or uh, I don't know and I would say that the sniper rifle is not in a good objective playing if you are trying to get the objective you can defend the objective pretty well with a sniper rifle but if you're actually trying to be an objective player, capture flags, plant the bomb, whatever the objective is in the game type. The sniper rifle, I would say, is probably one of the worst weapons to use. And it is possible. There are people that can do it, but they are few and far between. And whenever you run into multiple enemies, like right there, you are probably going to die, especially with a bolt action sniper rifle, because the time between shots is very limited. And it's not a very good objective based weapon. And this was probably one of the only games, I was just trying to get a gameplay, and this was one of the only games, maybe out of four or five that I even won and I could have won if I was using a better weapon an assault rifle or an SMG and that is the, the main goal when I play Call of Duty is to win the games and I like to be on top of the scoreboard I like to get the most points possible which is usually from playing the objective and getting kills trying to get more kills than deaths <laughs> and when I use a sniper rifle that doesn't happen for me I try to play the objective but like right there I miss a shot and I'm dead so that's why I don't really use a sniper rifle and I think it's just a really a novelty weapon meaning that you can just use it to fuck around and try to just try to do good and it's n not for if you want to win I would say there are very very few players maybe Zer Grizz I know he's an, an objective based player that uses a sniper I haven't watched too many of his gameplays and some other people that I've heard of are like Snipinator but most snipers just try to get clips and like trick shots I would say the majority of of the sniping YouTube community like FaZe Clan and stuff like that they're they are not really objective based players they'll go in and just try to get some clips try to get some collaterals jump off stuff and get no scopes and I don't know that's just not for me and if they want to do that that's fine but that's not why I play Call of Duty and I don't know if you if you want to watch that type of gameplay then there are channels that you know specialize in that I am an objective based player I play to win and I like to use the best weapons in the game to do that because that's what allows me to win more often than lose and there will be a lot of people in the comments that are like oh my god we can try to you say to try hard yeah if try hard means trying my best to win the game then yes I am a try hard 
And so this is the third video that I've posted of Oasis. The first two were just gameplay, so this is the first commentary. So I guess I'll talk about this map, and I like it a lot. It seems like it's in uh, some Middle Eastern country. I'm not sure where exactly, but it looks like a very wealthy Middle Eastern country in, in kind of like a huge Bellagio type of pool out on the side of the map. It's pretty cool, like a big hotel resort. And it's very bright. I like the brightness of it. I'm not a big fan of the dark maps that give Dark Corner McDougals a lot of place to hide. There are some places on the map that cast some shadows where Dark Corner McDougals like to lurk. But overall, it's a pretty bright map. And it's not a weird circular, you don't know where enemies are spawning type of map. Kind of like, uh... Like Village, Village is one. There's a lot of maps in Modern Warfare 3 that you, you have really no idea where the enemy's gonna spawn. And with this map, it's it's usually, you know, the spawns flip and you know where they're coming from. So if they got the A flag, you know that they're gonna be coming from the A side. And I like that. Modern Warfare 2 had a lot more linear type maps like this and I think it's it just makes the game easier to play and I think that Modern Warfare 3 their intentions were to I guess try to avoid spawn trapping have more gun on gun action but what really happened is you don't know where the enemy is and the enemy is spawning like right next to you and their idea I think for the most part failed and it seems like they're they tried to make some more maps like this that are more linear so you have a better idea of where the enemy is going to be spawning and it makes it a lot easier to play. And, uh, man, I just ran out of things to say. This is a long video. Seven and a half minutes. I just drew a blank. But what else can I say about the map? Uh, it's, it's okay for air support. Everything is kind of open. I did have a... In one of the previous games, I like got a Reaper, and there are places where they can hide, but for the most part, especially like with the flags and stuff, you can see it from the air and be good for like attack helicopters and stuff as long as people aren't shooting them down. And I had to unlock the MSR to get this. <laughs> I figured I would do some more, more sniping sometimes just to fuck around. But for the most part, until I reach maximum prestige on prestige 20, level 80, I, I will go for like getting the gold guns on all the guns. That'll be one of my objectives. So I unlocked the MSR because I think it's the best sniper rifle in the game, in my personal opinion. Some people prefer like the Barrett, and I think that's mainly the two main guns that you can get one shot kills I guess the AS50 you can get some one shot kills but the Dragonoff and the Arsas those guns snipers you have to get usually two shots into someone to kill them and I was using a pistol using the Magnum as my secondary just trying to be elite sniper <laughs> Zer Optic Wickednator. That's that's my sniper name. <coughs> but let me know what you think of this gameplay. Even though I am not the best sniper in the world, I think I was still able to play the objective well enough to do okay, even though I was get hitting my death streak juiced a lot. But still got some shots off and I knew that I wasn't gonna get any major kill streaks so that's why I ran support with just UAV and counter UAV and I also unlocked uh, C4 so I'm gonna try to use C4 more because it is the most powerful of the lethal the lethals things <laughs> what <laughs> lethal equipment that's what I was trying to think of but I mostly used a uh, Simtex 
just because I think it's the it's what you can get off the quickest, but you have to be pretty close with Simtex to be able to get a kill. And C4 has a much larger blast radius. I think it's like one and a half times larger maybe than Simtex. I forget exactly, but you'll get kills more often with it. Like right there. I just need to get better at throwing it and detonating it quicker which will come with practice which I was doing and I know about double tapping X to blow it up but that's the end of the gameplay and I think I scored second highest on the team but I'm sure the guy here with the MP7 scored much better than me and I like being on top of the scoreboard and I had a better chance of doing that I was using the MP7 because I love me some MP7. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, that's all I have. So I'll talk to you later. Take it easy.